Welcome to Summit Awesome Games, good looking people. I am Rob and we are playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. We got our uh, 50 leaf tickets the other day. How good is that? Just random leaf tickets for doing retweets on Twitter. Perfect. That's what you want. That's how you want to pay for leaf tickets by just retweeting something. Just by sharing the Animal Crossing love with random followers. That's the way to earn leaf tickets. That's a good way. I mean, that's what I do every day. Playing this game and video is basically the same thing. So it's nice to get rewarded for doing that once in a while. Talk to me, Sparkles. God damn it. What's up, Bunny? You want some fruit? You can have some fruit. How is everyone out there? How are things? How are your games going? Who has quit? Who has abandoned the game? We, I've seen, I mean, you know, I look at my channel. I look at the videos. I see a decrease in viewership. But we got our regulars, my favorite people here around. You know, we've got... Jazzy Deku and Dawnling and all that jazz are all here. They're all around. I cut I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher it. I'll, I'll just look it up. I'll try to say it Kajul, Kajul, Kajula uh, Round they're around man. They're around. They're all around. Yeah, oh, look at that. Kajal. There you go. Kajal You know, Lolly Bell Dawnling all our favorites are still around but it seems a lot of people have a uh, I don't say abandoned the game, but Less into it than when it launched. Uh, it was a shame. I mean, that's that's mobile games. But there's, I'm sure there's Animal Crossing fans out there, Pocket Game fans out there, who need a place to come and play Pocket Camp, discuss Pocket Camp. Would like to be that place. Would like to talk about this game. Ah, uh, we got gardening coming, right? Gardening. Now we have that mysterious cat. And everyone's saying Rover. I even saw AG, IGN saying Rover. We all suspect Rover, but. I threw out a theory. I think I, I threw it out way later. Um, Mitzi. Mitz. Mitzi. For, she's been in all, in all the games. Every game. Since the first game, she's been around. That's the cat. That's who I think the cat is. Mitzi. You know, a white cat with a little brown circle on her face. That's my... Uh, that's where I'm leaning my suspicions towards uh, is her. That's who I think it's gonna be. So we're all gonna see, we're all gonna be like, Rover, Rover, Rover. And then bam, it's Mitzi. And you're all gonna be like, damn it, she'll listen to Rob. Guy knew, he knew, he knew, God damn it. Are you sure I can have this? Thank you, you're welcome, Biddy. We've got cute characters in our camp because I, th I you know what, I think we can do it. I'm gonna check, but I think we can do it. We're gonna build, upgrade our uh, tree house because why the hell not? Takes zero seconds and just uses up all our uh, resources or all our essence. We may as well do it, right? Why the heck not? It's almost lunchtime. Holy crap, the frog is right. It's two minutes from lunchtime. No wonder I'm hungry. This will probably be the shortest video. You'll probably see the time. You'll be like, hey, Rob didn't play this game for like 40 minutes and barely doing any requests. What's the deal? Ah, it's lunchtime. That little cheeky monkey wanted food. Hey, I already talked to you. What did you move for? Why did you move? What's the latest? Um, that's okay. It's good that you moved because I, I would have missed you. Uh, yeah, I'm on food. I'm hungry. It just hit me. I didn't know it was lunchtime. Now I do. Now I'm hungry. Damn it. Uh, but I was talking to Jazzy in the comments about Breath of the Wild. My favorite game of the year. Absolutely insane. I'm still playing. I'm still playing through the DLC. Uh, I have a little secret channel, which basically, because of Breath of the Wild, I made like a little sneaky channel. I wanted to play through Breath of the Wild on here, but I was just like, I'm I'm not going to. There's no way I'm going to be able to make videos on the game and play through at the same time. Just because of the length of it, but because when you're making videos on a game, you tend to stop and start. So let's say it's a 20, you make a 20 minute video on a game. Uh, so you play it for 20 minutes, then you spend like four hours putting it online. So, to play four hours of a game would be like a week's worth. And I didn't want to do that for Zelda. Zelda is my favorite game series uh, since Ocarina of Time. Been my favorite. So I didn't want to take my time with Breath of the Wild. So I started a second channel and dedicated it practically to Breath of the Wild. And it's still going on. It's a little secret channel. It has nothing really to do with me. It was just uh, kind of like an excuse to play it and not feel guilty about not and about like basically abandoning this channel while I play through that because uh, I love Zelda man Breath of the Wild game of the year so good so insanely good 
just so much to do. Everything that you do just feels right. There's never a moment where you're just like, ah, oh, I can't do that. Are you serious? Ah, oh, I can't. I mean, besides patting dogs or whatever. Um, but yeah, everything else is so good. It's so damn good. Playing through the DLC, I'm just like, oh, this game is just the best freaking game ever. Uh, but Ocarina of Time, that was one of my uh, favorite games growing up. Still is, like, I if I can just sit down, play it on 3DS or whatever, I have so many versions of it. Got like the 64, gold cartridge, the GameCube, we get Wind Waker, it came with a uh, Master Quest and Ocarina of Time on a bonus disc for GameCube, then got 3DS. Just, it's, it's so good. I love it, it's my favorite. Um, I remember renting it. Like, this was like when game renting was a thing. Renting it, they had two copies of the game at this place. And I'd always, you know, you'd rent it, and then your save would be gone. And then finally my parents bought it for me. And it was just the best. But great, so good. I think we have a bit of, I don't think I finished it. I was li live streaming it for a bit. I think I got pretty close to the end. Uh, I'm not sure if I finished it. I hope I did. If I haven't, we'll have to go back to it. Because I think I, I was playing through it on GameCube. So I'd still have my save and stuff. Just because it looked a little bit nicer on GameCube. Yeah, I'll buy a dress. Why the heck not? Uh, but I remember, like, the 64 just was, like, the best console. It felt like I had a billion games on it and just, like, was constantly playing it compared to today. Where, like, you play a game for a week, then you need a new game. Now, uh, that game, I just played... The games you just played and played and played and played and played. They just lasted forever. You didn't have the internet to look up cheats by people like me. It was amazing. Uh, let's craft up our amenity here. We can do our tree, right? But the first time I played the 64, I was in hospital. I was in year three, I believe. I think I was in year three. So, preschool, whatever you call it. Prep school. Um, yeah, let's build this thing. Let's craft it up. I was in hospital for like two weeks, I think, after surgery. And they had a, they had a 64 there. I didn't know there was a 64, I didn't know it was a thing. We had a Sega Mega Drive, that was my console. And then I played the 64 and they had Mario 64. And I was hooked on it, man. I was just like, wheel that console into my to my bedside and I played it and I played it and I played it. Uh, so that Christmas I got Mario 64 with the 64 and Mario Kart and the hours I played them. And then GoldenEye, I think everyone who's in on probably on YouTube that's my age or in the gaming industry or developer was probably the best kid in their school at GoldenEye. I just feel like that's a common thing. Like you ask anyone who's into gaming now, like, oh, did you like game? Did you like GoldenEye? I guarantee they'll all be like, I was the freaking best out of all my friends at GoldenEye. I loved having um. Like, uh, sleepovers with friends. Like, you have your, like, little sleepover slumber party things. You have, like, all your friends there. Be, like, 10, 15 kids there, and you're hanging out and stuff. And we had 64, four controllers set up. And whoever died, whoever lost, got kicked out, and then someone else would take on. Being the best at GoldenEye meant you never sat there having to watch other people play the game. You were always number one, and you were always playing it. Meanwhile, you just had fresh meat come in for the next round, and it's just like, aha, now I'm going to murder you too. This is the best. Good memories. Great memories. 64 is the best. I still have it, of course. I can literally see it from here with my controllers, and it's in its, like, proper 64 carry case with proper 64, like, um, cartridge carry cases as well. Still have my boxes, like my game boxes. They're in a little box. Uh, when we get our house built, I'll probably try and work out some kind of uh, display case for them. Zelda, still got my Zelda, Majora's Mask. All perfect condition, because that's the kind of person I am. From a young age, I apparently really, really liked games. And was always like, yeah, I'm going to keep this box. I'm going to chuck this box away. And now, now I, I, I'm very happy for myself, because... You go to sh like shops and stuff, and you see these games. Like you see Ocarina of Time in the box. Uh, you know, I doubt you'd see a sealed one, but you'd see it with its box and booklet and stuff. Like my booklets are pristine; They're nothing in them, no pages bent, nothing wrong with them. And you see them; they're so expensive. Like I've seen Ocarina of Time with the box and booklet 
for like up to $300, which blows my mind. I would not pay $300 for it, uh, but it seems like the going rate in Australia at least is around about $200 for Ocarina of Time. I was like, that's crazy. And I wouldn't sell my games either. Like I know a lot of people buy things and like collect them and go, oh yeah, it's gonna be worth selling in the future. I don't, I am nah. I do collect things, but I never ha collect things with the intent of selling them. I buy them for me. They're for me. I keep them. They're mine. God damn it. Someone else doesn't need them. I don't do it to go, oh yes, I bought this 20 years ago and now I'm gonna get my 50 bucks profit. Nah. It's mine. It's on my shelf. I'm keeping it. My grandkids or whatever, whoever digs up all my boxes and lifeless body can do whatever they want with it. But for me, I like having them. Having them around. I like being able to have my friends over and be like, hey, let's play Mario Kart on the 64. Let's play some gold now. Let's give it a whirl. Uh, it's just so easy. It's so good. I'd, I would regret if I ever sold them. If I was ever a dumb kid being like, Seeing like the trade-in deals, being like, oh, I can get the new Assassin's Creed if I trade in my GameCube. I would regret that for life. I'd be like, God damn it, what a stupid little turd I was. Why would I, for Assassin's Creed, I got I saved 20 bucks on Assassin's Creed and gave away my GameCube. You freaking moron of a child. I'd be very upset with myself. But luckily, I don't do that. And I if you're into games, don't do it. Don't trade in. Don't give it away. I mean, if you never, if you're not like, like you know, you never want to play a game again, or you just don't want them around, ah, sure, go ahead, do what you want. But if you're into games and you're young and you really like games, don't trade them in. You'll regret it. You'll get to the age of how old am I now? Twenty eight. Yeah, twenty eight now. Far out. Um, you get to this age and you go, God, you know what? I really want to play this weekend. I want to play through some Ocarina of Time on sixty four, and then you'll be like. Freaking shigs nuggets. I've got that terrible Microsoft Xbox one game because I traded it in Thank God I got the new halo Because that doesn't suck balls. What a genius move that was still got my animal crossing I logged on my animal. I like I logged on geez. That's how much times have changed. I played animal crossing uh, Last year. I think it was last year. Might have been the year before I got on my Instagram uh, I posted a picture of the animal's reaction. Basically, it was like they saw a ghost. They're like, what the hell, man? You haven't been here for 10 years. Where have you been? My little dude had a beard and stuff. He didn't really, but I, that's just, that's how it felt. Like, I'd come back from the dead and my animals were just like, what is, where have you been, man? We've been locked up in this disc. God damn it. Good times, good time. Damn it. You're selling stuff for my prices. People are matching my prices these days. Start an econ economic trend, I'm calling it, of selling things for three for two thirty. I actually bumped it up. I, tr I tested the waters last night. Three for two fifty. As you can see, it did not go well. We sold one thing, and I was pretty sure that one thing was three for two thirty. It's what I get for not being active. Star Wars came out yesterday. We saw Star Wars. It was so good. Uh, so that was a busy day. Mel's got. Today off, we got to go out for a Christmas dinner, so that's why I'm sinking some time into Animal Crossing now. I just haven't had time. It's so busy. It's Christmas time. Got dinners, lunches, God knows what family things going on. They're like, oh, you got to come to our house for lunch. Do I have to? Can I just have some toast at home or something? Like, do we, you're talking to me now. Isn't that enough? I got animals to see. I got requests to fulfill. They need me. The peasant animal needs me. I need to get them to level 20. Then I can just focus on making crazy campsites. Which is what I'm thinking about. Which is where I'm where I'm heading. Hey, look at us. We're twinsies, baby. We're twinsies. Gotta take your shoes off. Take your shoes off, goddammit. You're at the beach. Or at least the tropical area. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking... Uh, my intention, at least, is to start getting creative with the campsites. That's really what I want to start getting into. Uh, I don't want to really make them in the videos. I don't want to sit here, but I mean, I could. I totally could. Uh, I would like. I love to set some time aside during the day. Busy goddamn days, as I said. Freaking Christmas. I love Christmas. We don't even have our decorations up. I'm appalled because we're in a new place. Uh, we don't have room for it right now. We got like the full-on like Australia decorations. You go to people's homes. They have a tree or something. But we've we've gone full out here. We got like I made. 
full on garland with all the ball walls and stuff in them. They look good. We've got all these little Christmas Mickey Mouse things. Mickey Mouse things. Mickey Mouse things. Uh, it's like a Christmas train from Hallmark. And they all connect. And you push a button and they all play songs. And then we've got these like musical ones that just got instruments. Like Mickey Mouse characters. Or Disney characters. They got, they're holding like instruments. And you just put them around. They're not connected or anything. They just put them around the house. You push one and they start playing a song. And every single one will just start playing it. They all, they're all like Wi-Fi together somehow. And once one hears it, the closest one to that will hear it. And the closest one, to, and they'll just all join in and play this song together and play their individual instruments. It's insane, it blows my mind. But I gotta, I don't know, I gotta work out how to christmas fire this place up. I will do it, I will do it. I probably won't do it, but I intend to do it. That's the, that's the best thing. You intend to do something. It's like, back to fatties. I don't want to get on the topic of fatties again. But, you know, when you're trying to lose weight or get fit, the intention of doing it is just enough. As long as you say, like, oh, you know what, I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to go for a jog. That's enough of a high that you don't actually do it. You go, well, I thought about doing it. So, that counts. That made me happy. I, had, I intended to do it. It's like Animal Crossing. I intend to help these animals every three hours, and that's enough. I thought about it. I wanted to do it. I didn't do it, but I tried. In the fact that I said I probably would try. That's enough, man. That's enough. You gotta be like Yoda. You gotta be like, yeah, you do or do not. There is no try. You're either gonna do it, or you ain't gonna do it. And with this, I'm probably not gonna do it. <laughs> But I want to. That's that's the difference. I want to do it. I want to have those hit every three hours, spend 20 minutes every three hours and do all the requests, level my animals up and just have them all beefed up, get all the materials and stuff, have the best freaking campsite. But then real life kicks in and goes, hey man, you got to go and do something. I don't want to do stuff. I want to play Animal Crossing. I want to make videos. I want to live stream Animal Crossing. I don't, don't want to buy you a hundred dollar pair. I love to live stream this game. That'd be sweet. That would be sweet. But I look at my friends list and I see like 90% of the people are very active when I am fast asleep. So if I live streamed it when I'm awake, no one would watch. I'd just get people who watch the odd video here and there and come in and be like, why are you live streaming Animal Crossing, man? That game sucks. And I'm like, you know what? You suck, man. You suck, God damn it. Like a vacuum cleaner. Peter, Peter, my favorite. Peter, Peter, pickle eater. Buying our fruits for 250. Good man. Good man. Oh, look at that. What'd you buy this time? Oranges. The kid loves his citrus. It's good for you, man. Vitamin C. Get it in you. Where should we go now? Where shall we go? We've done our amenity. Can we craft another amenity? What do we need? What freaking resources do we need? What's going to crush my heart the most? Oh, man, I want to get that to level 5. I reckon I could do it. If I really knuckle down... Yeah, if I really knuckle down, I reckon I could max this out in a week or two. I'm going to give myself two weeks. Two weeks to max this out. I think that's a generous amount uh, because we got to get level 4 or... It's at level 2. Oh, man, so we got to get level 3, level 4, level 5. Five, so we need 90 natural essence and 60 cute essence. That's doable. That's totally doable. If I get my shiz together, I reckon we gotta. What do we gotta do? Let's go to our campsite. Let's think this through. Actually, let's not go to our campsite. We'll, we'll, we'll work this out as we play. So, we need 90 natural essence and 60 cute essence. Should we focus on getting. 60 cute essence. We got our campsite full of cute characters. So we just focus on getting them and getting their like every, they give us two essence every now, every like every request cycle, they give us like two to four essence. We spend a week getting, no, oh, that's, that's, uh, we spend a few, I uh, don't know, I don't know. I reckon, god damn, I'm just trying to work out how long it would take. If I hit every request cycle, I reckon like a week max, you could get 60. Probably quicker than that. Probably probably sooner than that. Because maybe even like two or three days you could get 60. If you, if you play, if you actually play it. 
hit them every hour. They refresh every hour. If you knuckle down, hit them every hour, maybe two to three days, it could be doable. And then we switch them out, we take in the natural characters, and just tackle them every hour, and give that like a week max to hit 90. Uh, meanwhile, of course, hitting the quarry up for natural and cute essence while we can. And then, of course, crafting them as we go as well. So we won't just be hoarding it until we get to 90. We'll craft it once we get the available essence. And then, gee, it's a lot. It is a lot. But I want to see that maxed out treehouse. I'm so disappointed in the current treehouse. It looks so... It looks like I built it. It looks like my little villager took a hit to the head and tried to build a treehouse and didn't even finish it. Like, imagine paying for a treehouse, like hiring Cyrus. Being like, Cyrus, man, build me a treehouse. And then you get that. You go, yeah, you did build me a treehouse, but you didn't finish it. You left wood planks everywhere. There's paint on the floor. Well, these animals drink paint. They die, man. Come on, Cyrus, goddammit. I gave you a lot of, I gave you a lot of essence. I've been harvesting their souls, and they gave them to you, man. And this is what you come up with? Not cool, man. Not cool. Oh, butchy boy! You're gonna go up a level, man. You're gonna go up a level. We're chasing a few of you guys. And Val, level 54. It's pretty good. Dawn, what are you at? Dawn Ling, you're the... You're the, uh, you know, the white rabbit. We're chasing you all the time. Trying to catch you. I wonder what level you would be. Don't tell me it's 60. Tell me it's 60. I haven't seen skill like that since the days of a young butch. Gahaha, <laughs> I kid, you are the best. Goddamn right. Level 15. Oh, you're gonna give me, uh... Did you have to come to my campsite? To give me the request thing to make something? Or will you tell me now? We you ask for it now? No, no, yeah, you gotta come to my campsite if you want your, your fancy item. Uh, let's see what fancy items we actually... Let's go to our crafting. And we'll hit up some fancy items. We'll finish off Butch. We'll see what fish are around. And then we'll see what the person's selling here. Oh, we hit 99999. We've got to get 999. We've got to sell some of that stuff. You can't anymore tap. Alright, alright, I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell. God damn it. I'm going to sell. Calm your shiz, man. I noticed that too, game. Thank you for telling me, though. Imagine if you didn't notice that. Let's sell. You get so much goddamn steel in this game. Steel is not a rare thing. You can build cities out of this steel. Let's sell 200. 200. Let's see if I can stop it exact. Bet I can. I bet I can. Oh, oh, so close, man. So close. That would have been the best. That would have been the highlight of my day. That's how boring my day has been. We took Millie to the vet. She needed her uh, injections. Keep her feline aid free and stuff. Cat flu free. So we're looking after her. She didn't have a great time at the vet. She's not too keen on the vet. Ah, uh, but they were nice. They're nice vets. Take you, little vet, Butch. Goddamn Butch. All right, what kind of fish is this? Do you reckon it's a squid? Or are we going to be surprised here? I reckon it's a surprise. It's a horse mackerel. That was a surprise. I thought that was much bigger shadow. Who we got here? I'm guessing you're a Japanese player. Judging by your, uh, your doctor jacket, your dress, and your little funky hat. You're one of those, I don't want to say crazy people, because that's insulting. You're one of those people who likes dressing up in like the weird old timey looking things, like you're a bunch of ghosts. Oh yeah, see, look at that. What'd I tell you, man? What'd I tell you? You just know she stands in the park with an umbrella. I'll take your apples. I'll take your sweet apples. I'll take your juicy cherries too. Why does that sound so perverted? Why this fruit? I don't know. Something about fruit makes just, it just sounds dirty when you say, Maybe it's juicy. Maybe just saying juicy and having someone in that sentence with juicy is what makes it sound creepy. Like if I said, hmm, Bo's got a juicy pair of apples. That sounds wrong for some reason. He could have a juicy pair of apples, but it still sounds wrong. Got a nice pair of plums on him, that one. Fruit, man. Just use... I want, when you go to work or school or something, just start using fruit when you're talking about people and just just see how comfortable they feel. You'll probably get, you know, sexual harassment things thrown at you. But just say, hey, do you have a juicy orange? 
I feel like you have a juicy orange. Just say that to someone. Just add juicy and like some kind of fruit. And just see how they react. I think that's a good social experiment for you guys to try out. I'm gonna try it out. But you guys can try it out. Or even go up to your parents. If you want. If you're feeling, you know, game and a little... Want to freak them out a little bit before Christmas. Just go up to your mum. Find your mum. And just say, Hey, you got a juicy pear. Just make sure that there's a pear around. Go buy a pear first. And just make sure it's in the fridge. So that way when you say it, and if they do start, you know, saying, we need to see somebody, that was the creepiest shit ever. Um, just make sure, no, I, I got you a pear. There's a pear in the fridge for you. I got you a juicy pear. Just have some kind of fallback, just in case it blows up in your face. You don't want to be that kid. You don't want the Christmas stories when you're with the family, hearing the whispers and seeing everyone looking at you weird while they're like, hey, that guy, he, he just, you know, he, he said to me, you got a juicy pear. That's my son. It's my daughter who said that. Just have a backup. Have a fall fallback plan. Be prepared. You don't want to ruin Christmas by talking about pears. But that would be amazing, right? That would be amazing. That'd be the best news ever. But I've read a news article that said kid ruins Christmas by speaking of juicy pears. I'd be like, God damn, that's crazy. And a pet has talking about a pear ruin Christmas. Kid found a way. God bless him. Here you go, Alfonso. Let's get you leveled up, man. I'm that much closer to 51. That should be like your age. As you level up, your character should slowly age. And just look like haggard. <laughs> just look like ter just look terrible. That'd be so good. That'd be. <laughs> they need to do that. He just gets more wrinkly, or more like starts growing a beard or something. Just more stressed out looking. Just more terrible. It's like days without sleep. Day fifty one. Look at the little texture in the hat. Didn't even notice that. That's what makes it Christmassy looking. See all those little patterns in the and stuff. That's pretty cool. It's like some alien hieroglyphics or something that you'd see in an alien movie. Level 14, buddy! Or friendship level up. Oh, and natural essence. That's what we need. Just 80 to go. Have some juicy cherries, man. Yeah, look at him. He's loving the cherries. He's so keen. Have some cherries, man. Mr. Blue Eyes, you got something for me? It's my lucky day. Let's find out. They might have seeds in them. You might not like them. You might choke. Gave me some wood and candy canes. Now that we have all the furniture, I'm looking at candy canes. Sure, you could sell candy canes. You could totally sell candy canes. Uh, I don't know, you could craft stuff with them. But, I don't know. I feel... I feel that like I've got all the furniture. I'm just kind of like, eh, candy canes. They're just there. They're just something there. I mean, thank God we didn't have to spend leaf tickets trying to get them all right. Thank God... That, uh, that site was wrong about that shiz. Dopies. Uh, now, what was our plan? To craft things. Let's go through our craft list and let's put some crafting goods on craft. <laughs> it's a craft way too many times. I'm with you there. What do we want to craft? Got barbells. What is it? What is it we got there with that? It's gonna be something. A pile of wood. Do we want a pile of... Oh, you, no. It, if it uses the essence we're chasing, then no. Put, yeah, it's going to be cute essence, right? I can't do it. I can't do it. Not until our treehouse is done. We can make a picnic basket. Sure. That uses three cotton and three steel. That is not that much. Craft it, baby. Only takes a minute. All right. We're going to have that pretty quick. Literally in a minute. That's how quick. All right. Picnic basket is done. What else shall we make? What else shall we make? Got all of this. We got all of that. Got all of them. Oh, here we go. Oh, and it uses sporty. Fantastic. Let's make that. For some reason, a bonfire needs 150 preserves. Why? Just why? Why? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Explain that to me. You would think it would need wood, right? The basic ingredients of a bonfire is wood. Yeah, we're using preserves. It's like we're cooking up a bonfire. Uh, we made the space shuttle. We got this stupid sleeping bag. That uses sporty too. Why the hell not, right? At least we have it. I'm sure future characters will want it. So we may as well make it. We're not chasing sporty essence right now. 
So that's not a big deal. Uh, we've completed this, and then we can find one final long ass item to put on the craft queue. May as well craft an aisle. It saves us time in the future when those new animals come in and they're like, hey, we need you to craft this for us. And we'll be like, God damn it, that takes like two days, man. We'll be like, haha, we already made it. Sucked in. We planned ahead. What else do we need? What else do we want? Made the sleeping bag. We've got like these funky things. They're pretty cool. Let's make that. Let's make that. Let's put that on. How long is that going to take? 18 hours and it's going to use up all our cool lessons. Craft it, baby. And it's 10,000 bells. Bells aren't a big issue. Once you have like 50,000 bells, you're pretty much set from there on. Cool. That's it. That's our crafting done. We'll quickly grab our My Nintendo rewards. But that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love making these. If you are enjoying them, be sure to leave a like. That way I know. That's how you tell me. Or you could literally tell me by writing in the comments. Damn it, it did this again. Oh well, never mind. I'll get it another time. Uh, yeah, you can just write a comment. Be like, hey man, I like these videos. Or, if you don't like them, you can shut your dirty mouth and get out of my sight. Uh, but no, seriously, if you don't like them, that's fine. I understand. I don't really, but I could understand. I mean, if someone else made them and they were terrible, I'd be like, hey, I don't like this. So if I'm making them and they're terrible, tell me, tell me. Be like, dude, dude, come on. You've got to make something good. Make something fantastic. Stop talking to random players and buying their stuff. Oh, you're too good. You're too generous. I'm going to buy these. Look at these little butterflies. Look at their little eyes. Look at their eyes. Aren't they adorable? Like flying ants. It's beautiful. And I'll take these off your hands. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Joining my friends list. I will go through and call some more people. We've been getting you guys in here. Because, you know, as we've seen, you know, the views on these videos have dropped. Uh, which either implies people are sick of me, hate my guts, or Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is starting to lose steam pretty early here. Uh, which, you know, is fine. The hype comes out, people start playing it, and then they get repetitive, the request cycles and stuff. They don't see the goodness in the game. They don't see the potential of making crazy ass camps, which is what we're going to start focusing on once we start working out what we want to do and start crafting things up. Uh, that's fine. That happens. That's what happens with most games. You get that influx of players at the start and then they slowly peter away until there's one person left standing. And that person shall be... <laughs> Oh, my God.